that's hard for me to say. Um, uh, if it does, I would hope that it would strengthen the determination of every Belizean to participate in this referendum when it is held. And I repeat, I am positive that it will be held. Uh, if we don't get through by Wednesday, it is certainly my expectation, not just my hope, that this will ultimately galvanize Belizeans and we would therefore be in a position where when the referendum is held, whether Wednesday or thereafter, we will see a larger turnout than might perhaps otherwise have occurred. Of course I'm disappointed. I am flabbergasted. I don't understand how it could have happened, but I'm not going to be critical of the judge. Um, not at all. Uh, uh, so I, I, I will leave it at that. I, I would never in a million years have imagined that given what you just described far more eloquently than I ever could have, uh, given those circumstances, how on earth uh, a court uh, would stop something like this at the 11th hour. In my view, the fact alone that these people were so out of time, you don't wait until the last minute. The speed is of the essence, clearly, as I said, in terms of what we're going to do. Um, if there is anybody else who can come in and get up to speed on the double, uh, we will clearly look at that because this is of such a, an earth-shattering uh, importance that the more hands on deck, the better. But, but, but if we do retain additional counsel, it would be just that, additional counsel. I have absolutely no difficulty with the way Ms. Schumann prepared the case. I wasn't in there for the arguments, but again, my understanding as to that uh, reiterates, reinforces that confidence. So no, it, it's, this is how the Chief Justice went. Uh, nobody can, can explain that, uh, but, but there is absolutely no basis whatsoever to try to lay any blame at the feet of, of our council.